एस यू डी आई सी ओ फोमो सी एट मार्केट कैप होडल कन्फ्यूज वेल आई एम देर टू हेल्प वेलकम टू कटोस्ट ट्यूब्स आई एम होस्ट पारस एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द क्रिप्टो करेंसी जागन्स और क्रिप्टो करेंसी टर्मिनोलॉजीज फॉर अ क्रिप्टो एंथोजियास्ट If you want to be a part of the cryptocurrency community, a growing technology, you must know these jargons. So without any further delay, let's jump right in into the video. Before I take you through the crypto jargons, if you are new to this channel and want to learn about cryptocurrency, what is cryptocurrency and how it works, you can click on the link above or in the description to watch the videos now let's start with crypto jargons so the first jargon that is very common in the crypto world is called as altcoin what is altcoin any coin which is not bitcoin is termed as altcoin number 2 blockchain what is blockchain it's an online management system which store information of transactions in its network third coin market cap this one is quite important coin market cap means the total supply of coin multiplied by the price of that particular coin it is considered to be one of the positive indicator while trying to buy a cryptocurrency higher the market cap greater are the success chances of that particular coin but there are other factor that you should also look into which i will talk about in the next video next d apps just like you have app on your mobile d apps means decentralized app that runs on peer to peer network which means they are based on blockchain next is fud fud is the most common used word in a trading environment which means fear uncertainty and doubt next is hodl hodl is actually a incorrect form ideally it means hold but due to a typo it became a famous word it means buy and hold the coin do not sell it ico just like you have ipos initial public offerings of stock market similarly you have ico of coin market which is used to raise money ico means initial coin offerings jomo this is something new jomo means joy of missing out when you want to enter a trade or exit a trade and you missed out you take a decision not to enter the trade and you missing the trade prove to be fruitful decision that is when you call it as the joy of missing out kyc is your general know your customer just like you have banks asking for kyc documents similarly in cryptocurrency also you have to do a kyc before you start trading node what is node node is an interface that handles communication and private keys between wallets pump and dump pump and dump means you know the example of doge coin the famous doge coin it got pumped it's actually a meme coin which got pumped to a very high level more than expected that's when it gets pumped and when the market dump it or its value going to be decreased tremendously then it's going to be dumped so that's the cycle of pump and dump pump increase the price and dump decrease the price the next is shilling what does shilling means so whenever a buyer purchase a coins and he wants to promote it using medium like social media handles and friends or family members it's called as shilling which is nothing but endorsing a coin token token is a coin of crypto project which is bought sold or hold for example in case of ethereum eth is the token in case of wazirx you have wrx token crypto whales these are the market movers just like elon musk is a big whale when he bought billion dollars worth of cryptocurrency which means bitcoin 
and move the market upwards in an uptrend. Address. Address is a destination where you use to send or receive your cryptocurrency. ATH. ATH means all time high value of that coin. The next is escrow. What does escrow means? This is one of the important terms that you will come across. Escrow means when a third party holds the financial resources on behalf of other two parties. Fiat. Fiat is your money. Indian rupee, US dollar, anything which is printed by the government or the banks or a legal tender is called as fiat. It is your paper currency. FOMO. It's called as fear of missing out. The next is fork. Fork means change in the digital currency protocol. It can be a hard fork or a soft fork. Hard fork means there is a permanent change in the protocol and soft calls is the opposite of it. White paper. White paper is published by the developers or the founders of a particular coin in which they state how the coin works technically and what are its offering. What is the problem it's going to solve? That's the white paper of every coin is about. Next is mining. Mining is a very common word now. Mining means the process of creating new units of digital currency. The next term is sharding. Sharding is the process when you take the load off the main network. You divide a process in the sub processes and take the load off the network. Hence, increasing the rate of transactions. It is something new which is going to be used and applied in the Ethereum network and other cryptocurrency network. It is still under the process. So sharding helps to make a cryptocurrency an efficient way to transfer or transact money. That's all about the video. I hope you get the right knowledge out of it. Do watch the videos shared on the screen and do remember to subscribe to watch more videos every week. I see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.